And with the threat of severe weather headed this direction tonight, local construction companies are now preparing for the worst. Yeah, they have to be ready for this. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson shows us how they prepared for the night ahead. Well, crews have already left for the evening, but typically on a job site like this when they would store materials on the rooftop, but not tonight because they're concerned about high winds. Drive near the University of Kansas hospitals and you may notice the tower crane next to the medical office buildings. Now we're just completing the project and building three levels on top of the existing two story. Turner construction crews have a daily huddle to talk about job sites and the weather. If severe weather strikes, their focus is wind and lightning. In the event of high wind, we would typically shut down the crane. The tower crane doesn't actually come down. It stays upright. It it's designed to move with the wind. On this one, it's what they call freewheel. So the the boom can move within the in the wind so that it's not it's not being perpendicular to, to the wind. Miller says stored materials and trash on the rooftop are moved inside or to lower ground. The hanging baskets are get really getting knocked around by the wind. The same is not true for the Westlake Ace Hardware Store in Westport. Heavy materials are tied down, but nothing is moved inside if a storm hits. In the case of tornado, of severe life-threatening um, weather, our primary concern is the safety of our customers and our employees. Ginger Ferguson says the store has a severe weather plan, but right now she's not too worried. The wind's going to blow where the wind's going to blow. Um, I'm, I, it's, it's not under my control. Miller agrees, but says when wind gusts get above 20 miles an hour, his crews know what to do. We have a horn that we use, and so three horn blast lets everybody on the site know that we need to get down and into a safe place. Now, Miller says last week they did have to stop working because of the wind. As of right now, crews are scheduled to come back at 7 o'clock in the morning. But, of course, the weather could change that. Reporting live in KCK, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.